Hey everyone, I um, want to welcome you to our September 19th Ask Beauty Questions. I'm trying to sort of figure out a format to use um, throughout each session that we have. So we'll start with a little bit of a recap from, from last week. And um, we talked about our memberships, which these are the membership cards. And on the back, um, Ask Beauty Questions, and it talks a little bit about all the benefits of the membership. Uh, just so you know, the membership for Mirage students is no charge, but then there is paid memberships, and that is open to everyone in the beauty industry. So if you have a friend, a cousin, a relative, even, um, your own previous nail tech that piece of hair is driving me crazy I can see that anyway um, sorry your own personal nail tech your waxer your esthetician anybody else doesn't have to be a Mirage student can partake in the ask beauty questions and I really encourage you to pass that on to your peeps that you know because we're going to have some really good guests on here um, coming up and most people will not have access to these guests unless they attend a really large show and I'm talking Premier Orlando, Vegas or any of those other places. So um, chances of them having a direct question and answer time with these featured guests is almost unheard of not to mention the benefits you know the discounts the the free gift every month if you're a paid member you just have to pay for shipping to get the product of the month it's included in your membership fee which alone is fabulous and um, the affiliate membership you're promoting it anyway you might as well get paid for it so I'm not going to take a lot of time on that but I do want to touch on that and just let you know if you want to please extend the invitation to others to join our membership it's going to really grow and really be exciting so um, just touching on that I just want to follow my notes here um, oh yeah and last weekend was the CNTC which is the Canadian Nail Tech. And uh, it was held in Richmond. There's four a year so far. And um, it was the first one I attended actually. So the first one I attended and there was a lot of vendors there. So I'm going to promote that to my students and to whoever else is a professional in the industry to try to get to the next one. Um, I met with the uh, founder and she does one in the East Coast and one in the West Coast one in the East Coast and one in the West Coast So we just had Vancouver the next one is Toronto and then she's doing Edmonton and then I think she said Halifax I can't remember but it's CNTC dot com if you want to go on to the website and see you know where the next ones are and when the next ones are available I encourage you going in Mirage, in the school, you, in the nail tech portion, actually in the aesthetic portion as well, but the CNTC is nail related, so we'll stick on topic there. But in our training, your um, training is the fundamentals. It's the basic fundamentals, the foundation for the nail industry. We do not focus a lot at this time on the fancy nail arts and on the stilettos and on the edges and on the coffin shapes and all of that stuff. And, you know, all the glitter and stuff like that, because that's what these shows are for. And I really want to encourage you to go to whatever you can afford to go to and whatever is closest in your area to go to. And even if you have to fly somewhere, um, they're so beneficial and involve yourself in all the classes that you can these are leading industry experts literally globally if not globally for sure North America and they teach you things from all their vast experiences that you can't get 
especially from my course, because it's the fundamentals, it's the basics. And I really encourage you to go to the other ones. Um, there's booths set up all around. There's classes day before. There's classes after. You can involve yourself in all of these classes. And I'm going to talk to you about the one that's coming up in a little bit here. So I just wanted to recap on the CNTC and just tell you, if you can go on to our Facebook site and see the little picture that I posted, I'm kind of proud of that. Not kind of. I really am proud of it because I had Susan, who you met, um, she works for me now from, she was my grad 15 years ago, she said, 2002. I can't believe how much time has gone past in that time. And, and of course, she's there because, as she should be, she is also continuously learning and learning new secrets, learning new filing techniques, learning new trades, because when she does your assessments, on your nails, you want to be assured that the person who is doing the corrections and is guiding you and leading you into the future of nails knows what she's doing. And I'm really proud that she was there to take in the classes from the other companies and, and learn all the new techniques because that just goes to show the power behind the course that we offer. And, you know, the training that you're going to get is second to none. It's just unbelievable. And Susan attended Vegas just a little while ago and so much training. So it was really good to see her there. But on top of that, I was honored to meet one of my other graduates who, whose name is Jamie. I'm talking about you now, Jamie. And apparently she was a grad of mine four years ago. And um, she really promotes the course and she is helping to put on the CNTC and she invited us to go. So um, that was really nice to see that our graduates are, you know, they're just going so far ahead in the industry to be putting on events like that, to be 15 years later and still learning. It just is so meaningful to me. And then on top of that, we also had another person who was there was um, a student that is currently enrolled in my course, um, Nicola. And I met her there as well. So, you know, I really want to reach out to you guys and say I love to meet you in person. And we just want to encourage you. So let's meet online first and let's meet at a show in person. So enough of that. I could go on and on about that, but I'm not going to. So you're going to get the latest cutting edge ideas at these shows. The foundations that Mirage teaches haven't changed since I took my course in 1981. I've been taking a lot of courses since then and granted product has changed. I mean, so much has changed, which keeps it exciting and keeps me involved. <laughs> I get bored easy, as do most nail techs, which is why I think we're nail techs. <laughs> anyway, um, having said that, the foundation of the nail, all the basics of the nail, the nail structure, the nail sanitation, although it's getting better, still hasn't changed. You still need the foundations. That is the backbone of the industry, and it's critical. So um, we added some videos to our online modules, and uh, the one in particular I've inserted into every module now, and it is a repeat. So if you have seen it and you get it, you don't need to keep watching it. But it's uh, Susan and I discussing what's expected of you in your assignments. And I'm just going to stress that you need to go back and watch it. The beginning is all about nails and the end is manicure pedicure. If you're only taking the uh, nail tech course and not manicure pedicure, you don't need to watch the end. If you're, you know, in module one, watch it too. You might want to watch it again. As you know what's expected of you, jump to the end and then go into manicure pedicure when you reach that assignment because it is important. And I just want to touch on that because I did say in the video not to use the same person because we will know. And what I meant by that, I just want to clarify that because I did have a student ask me this week what I was talking about. And what I was talking about was um, I actually had one student send in 18 assignments of the same person of the same nails and different stages throughout. 
I think they were all done within a day or two of a span because the nails weren't any different. The shapes were all the same. You get where I'm going with this. Now, I had a, a student ask me, I live in a small town and I don't have access to a lot of people. Can I use the same model? Yes. Absolutely, you can use the same model. The only thing that I ask of that is that you give her some time in between to grow those nails out. Let her break one, you know, let her build up a callus again. So maybe if you're going to use the same person for two or three times, maybe do a basic pedicure on her and then a spa and then a paradiso or something. Give her a little bit of a deep, decent and different treatment, but have her come as one of your first customers and then give her time to let her feet do their thing. Let the polish chip over the month, you know, let the uh, callus grow back. So you have decent pictures to show me. So don't use the same one three weeks in a row. I don't want to see that. So again, enough on that. If you have any more questions, just email them in to me. And uh, we're going to go along here and <sighs> I went to, and I'm going to promote this on here because I think it's fabulous. And a good majority of us are women that are in this uh, business. I just want to watch my time here. Um, but I went to a conference last month in Dallas. And it was for the E-Women's Network. And E-Women means entrepreneurial women, which I believe most of us are. We're all wanting to start our own nail tech business or rent a chair or, you know, do from home. That makes you an entrepreneur. You may not want to expand it into what this woman has because she has just inspired us. I, I'm, I get emotional. <laughs> so I have to change the way I'm approaching this. But anyway, um, I went there and on the table, every time we broke session and came back from session, she had some cards on the table and we drew a card and we drew a card that had meaning for us. And um, I thought, you know what, I want to implement that because I know a lot of us think along that way. So I went out and I bought some empowerment cards. And uh, today I wanted to pull one and see what empowerment we can get from these cards because there's a couple things I want to do differently and show you. So here's my cards and um, I don't want to look at them. So I'll pull from the back and I'm just going to close my eyes and maybe pick this one out. And this one is expectation. Okay, that's a good one. Expectation, be open for whatever comes next. Wow, oh boy, oh, this is a good card for me because there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, it might just be the magic your heart's been waiting to hear. So expectation, everybody, be open. And that can mean a lot of things. You take that to heart for what you need it to be today. Um, what I want to share with you today, back on a business note, is our expectations of what's to come next week. Now, um, Doug Shoon, as you all know who that is, it is my, my go-to guy face-to-face -face with Doug Shoon. I want to promote Doug Shoon because he's our guest speaker next week. And I really want to send out a really strong message to tell your friends, tell your nail techs, tell everybody to get on this thing. I'm going to advertise it through Facebook. We're going to send out little blasters to the students, put it in your closed groups and all your clubs and everything to try to encourage people to get online. Unless you attend one of these major events, you will not get the opportunity to have a conversation with this man. And he may grow so big, we may never get the, com the opportunity to have him back. So um, I really want to encourage every single person, every student. He's the author of the textbook. You know, I mean, how do you get better than that? So he's coming next week. Let's make a good show for him. Let's have some students. You know, don't be shy. Get online and let's get a strong turnout for this man. Um, September 26th. And one of the giveaways is his book. And um, so I want to share my screen right now and show you um, 
I'm not so good at this, so I'm just learning. Let's see what we got here. Doug Shoon. Okay, so if you can see this, this is Doug Shoon's page, and it's called Doug Shoon's Brain. I'm hoping this is clear to you and you can see this. It's on Facebook. Here's volume one, which I just showed you. And then there's volume two, which is his brand new one out. And believe it or not, he's already doing a volume three. And that shows how many nail questions there are. And I'm telling you, you can never stop learning. So um, go on to Doug Shoon's brain, like Doug Shoon's brain, and follow Doug Shoon. He's got so much fabulous information on here. There's Doug with his two books. And uh, I really want to encourage you to do that and um, be there next week. Okay, so stop sharing. Okay, I'm back. So uh, what's next? The Best Little Nail Show in Vegas is next. And it is coming October 28th to October 30th. This is the first show in Vegas. Athena puts on the Best Little Nail Show in Texas, which is way East Coast. I've never been to one. Best Little Nail Show in Texas is sponsored by Famous Names, who you all know we represent with our IBX course, which is fabulous. And if you haven't taken it, it's free with your membership. So you know what? You've got to get your memberships and get that IBX course. It's free. And uh, I can't promote IBX enough. It's a fabulous product. And at the show, they're going to be launching a new product at the show. So I'm hoping in October we can get Linda Nordstrom, who is a co-founder with her husband, Jim, of IBX and Famous Names. And we're going to uh, talk about the new product. And I know what it is. I met Linda last month for lunch. She actually came to Vancouver and uh, her and I had a great lunch together and um, she snuck me the secret, but I'm sworn to secrecy. You're going to love it. I can tell you that. And uh, you need to, well, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that till next month. The best little nail show in Vegas. There's a costume ball. And it's a masquerade, so you have to wear, you know, your masks and get your fingernails to match your mask, and there's going to be contests and awards and everything for that. So that alone is going to kick some hiney. It's going to be so much fun, not to mention there's all kinds of classes going on there. I'm just going to mention a few, and then I want to share a video with you and something else and close. Uh, what's our time frame? Yeah, I'm going to run out of time. So they're doing classes on advanced nail techniques, all kinds of nail art. So you want to see that. Jim Nordstrom, who is uh, Linda's husband, the founder of, of Famous Names, he is going to be doing a free seminar called Reshaping the Future of the Industry. And uh, it's free. And if you haven't met Jim Nordstrom yet, you know what? This guy is fabulous. Um, his dad, Dr. Nordstrom, was a dentist. And he actually was one of the original founders of putting nail product on fingernail, or sorry, dental product on fingernails way, way back. And he started Creative Nail Design and CND as we now know it. This is Jim Nordstrom. So you know what? The knowledge that this man has in the nail industry, I'm telling you. Who was there in the beginning? I mean, if my dad invented something like that, thank God for my dad. I know how to hang a door and, you know, do stuff like that because he was that kind of guy. But he certainly wasn't into the nail industry. So just even going to that course, they're going to also introduce the new uh, product coming out. So you want to be there for that. Elizabeth Morris, if you have not heard of Elizabeth Morris yet, you will. She is fabulous. She has um, podcasts out that are unbelievable. She does interviews. She's fabulous. I'm hoping one day to have her on our show because she's beyond amazing. She left corporate to become a nail tech. She left an income to become a nail tech and start from scratch. 
I get emotional over this stuff. Oh my God, you can tell I'm in the right industry. Okay, I'm not going to cry. I love you, Elizabeth. She is a fabulous, fabulous person. And um, you can learn so much from her. Her uh, show is called Fully Booked and Running on Pennies. You know, you can fill your calendar till the cows come home. You can work from the time you wake up till you die of exhaustion at night. And you can still be broke. And it happens more times than not. It actually happened to me. So she's going to teach a class on how to not have that happen to you and highly, highly recommend it. Atwood Industries is going to be there. They have e-files and they teach classes on e-files. And my lovely friend who wrote this book, Nail Care Nightmares, Lisa Ann, works with Atwood Industries. And uh, I'm pretty certain she's going to be there. But Lisa Ann's going to be a guest here too. Um, Lauren Wireman, I get choked up over this. Bear with me. Lauren Wireman is with Wildflowers, and they are a growing, growing, growing company. Um, love her to pieces. She was a, a druggie on the streets, and um, she's got quite a story. And she became a nail tech and entered a competition and she won the competition and she won $10,000. Oh Lord, look at me go today. What did I draw this card for? <laughs> anyway, that was not the expectation of this was not to be crying during my presentation. I'm sorry. I'm kind of a sappy person. Anyway, Lauren went from drugs to what did I say? Drugs to dream. She now has a major company. Um, she's a fabulous person and she's going to be teaching classes and her wildflowers nail art is off the charts. She is just a fabulous person. And um, I wanna just talk about, I'm gonna put on a video now. <laughs> but before I do that, I wanna talk about my lovely, one of my best friends, Maisie Dunbar, who, um, some of you may know, some of you may not, but uh, you need to follow Maisie Dunbar. She has Bluffajo cosmetic lines and she is a fabulous, fabulous woman who inspires so many people in Orlando and somewhere else. I've been to so many trade shows, I can't remember where else, but I try to always go to Maisie's um, seminars because she's so inspiring. She really is. And her, um, she talks about Dare to Dream. And she talks about jumping. And we had this whole thing where we did this jump. You've faced your fears, you've got to jump. You've got to just do it. And a lot of people getting into this nail industry are going through that. And it was a big decision to even take the nail course for most of you. And you had to take that jump. And um, a lot of people in that class, actually, we still communicate and some have jumped. LaShawn Brown Glenn actually jumped from an airplane and that was her jump. Mine wasn't quite that, but um, I want to try to share my screen now and uh, show you this video and I'm really hoping that it comes through and uh, if it doesn't, I'm really hoping that you can at least hear it. It is, um, let me just change here. I think you guys know who this is. If you want to be successful, here's the thing you have to do. Uh oh, there we go. You have to jump. There is no way around it. You have to jump. Every successful person has jumped. You got to jump. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to dash off that cliff and you got to jump out there as far as you can. Now, a lot of times you stand on the cliff of life and you see other people soaring by, gliding down like a bird flying through the air. You know, they're going over to the south of France. You see them on a boat somewhere. You see their family vacation in here, their family vacation in there. You see them dressing like this. You see them in New York, then you see them in London. They flying by. You know why? It's because they parachute open. But the only way to get your parachute to open so you can soar you got to jump. Now here's the problem. Here's the problem, my friends. 
when you jump, I can assure you one thing. You listening? I promise you this. Your parachute will not open right away. No. That's the fear part. I promise you your parachute will not open right away. You're going to hit them sides and them rocks. You're going to tear your back out on them cliff. You're going you're gonna to cut yourself. You're going to get wounded. You're going to get some tears and stuff like that. But eventually, the parachute will open and you'll be sold. But here's the other caveat. Let me teach you this right here. If you do not jump, I promise you one thing. Your parachute will never open. So you say that you will never sold. You got to jump. Live to inspire. We'll see. Guess I better turn it off before I. Uh, I don't know if it's going to keep playing or not. I don't know in the background, but anyway, I want to encourage you to attend these shows. Get around like-minded people. I bought this rock last week when I started my programs like this because I keep this on my desk. Inspire. My goal is to inspire you however I can. I've been inspired. There I go again. By many people. And I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't have those people in my life. So um, I want to encourage you to get around these people who will inspire you, who will help you build your dream and who will take you to the next level if you want to go there. And um, I'm going to sign off by saying inspire. And don't just inspire in business. You have to inspire in life. And um, that's it for me. So I hope to see you next week. Let's give Doug Shoon some people, <laughs> get some faces in there for him and allow him to inspire us and lead us and train us and um, be that person to others. Signing off. <laughs>